It's for us to have anybody tell us anything. Nothing is too small. We have a Crime Stoppers tip line. That amount right now is $10,000. You may remain anonymous. We will have our canvas in the nearby neighborhoods of officers coming by. We will be passing out bolos. We will be talking to people. If you do not wish to speak to us at this time, we ask that you call our Crime Stoppers line and give us any information that you may have so that we can solve the case of this 12-year-old that was murdered on February 9th. Thank you. Spell your name and title. Major DeAndrea Price, D apostrophe capital A N D R E A Price P R I C E Major. Major, since we were out here two weeks ago with you, anything you've been able to piece together his footsteps before that time or that time of the afternoon or? We we have been putting some leads together. Nothing that we really want to put out to the public right now, but we're asking for anybody to tell us anything. We will follow the leads that we do get. Anything, like I said, is nothing is too small to tell us for us to follow that lead to try to solve this murder. Anything like a time frame people should be looking at or thinking about back to that time? I mean, uh... yes, we, we want to look back around the time of around three o'clock on February 9th, February 9th, 3 p.m. and on into the evening. Do you think he was coming over here to the golf course or did you piece you even really got into any of that yet? We're not exactly sure where he was trying to go. We know he was going to go meet a friend in the nearby area. Do you know if he was alone or if anybody had been with him just before this happened? Investigator Agent. Um, speaking to some witnesses, they, um, one friend of his said he may have been with somebody, but it's, we're unable to determine at this point if he actually was with somebody um, before he went missing. So nothing concrete yet? Nothing concrete yet. Good afternoon. Rodney Bryant. Um, first of all, I'd like to start off giving the family my deepest condolences for their loss. Uh, anytime that we have a homicide in the city of Atlanta, it is disturbing. But when it's a child involved, it's more deeply disturbing, not just to the Atlanta Police Department, but it has a ripple effect throughout the community and throughout the city. And so for today, uh, we're asking for anyone that have any information to go ahead and give us a call uh, to help us out in resolving this for the family as well as for the police department. Uh, this is so troubling that we are out here for a 12 year old. Uh, but we're, I assure the family and this community and this city that the city of Atlanta Police Department will continue to work very diligently until we get some resolve. Are there any questions for the chief? Do you know how many officers he's got out here today and detectives looking? Uh, I don't know the total number right now. We are continuing to get as many officers as we possibly can to assist in, in this uh, endeavor. The fact that you guys are out here canvassing today, does that indicate that you're kind of running a little lean on information? What it tells us is that uh, what you should get from this is that we are actually doing everything that we possibly can to get gather as much information as we can on this case. Okay, if there are no questions for the chief, we'll move to Council Member Overstreet as well as the family of David. Hello everyone. So I'm Councilmember Overstreet and I'm standing here with the Mack family and I don't have to tell anyone here how important it is that we continue our search for every single clue, word, whatever we can find to make sure that we bring closure to this family and this community. When a case like this is open and a 12-year-old, we had a vigil on his 13th birthday last Friday. When a 13-year-old is no longer with us and we don't have any closure, it's a problem. So we're all here and we want to do all that we can to make sure that the Mack family is made whole and that our community is no longer bewildered and afraid. It is important that we all work together and as I look around, I see that that is why uh, we're all here. 
in full abundance. We're here to make sure that we're taking care of this family. Can Miss, this is Grandmother Mac, and I would like her to let everyone know how important it is that we find the answers that she needs. This is my community. All around here is my community. And I know someone knows something, whether they afraid to come forward, but you can go through the Crime Stoppers and um, do it anonymously. I just need somebody to come forward. If you got ring doorbells and, and faces the place, please let the police look at it. I just need some help. Ms. Linda, can you, can you um, what's it like to, to see everyone out here like this today after, I mean, it's been two weeks, I know it's still tough, but what's it like to see? It makes me feel good. It makes me feel good to see all of these people out here. Anything you can just tell us more about David? I know he'd, he'd be 13 now after last Friday, and just uh, what do you want people to know about him? Well, he was the average 12-year-old, you know. He, you know, just like any other 12-year-old, you know, he had his little nicks and crannies and everything, but I loved him, and it wasn't a day go by that he didn't tell me that he loved me. I miss that most of all. Grandmother Mac Miss David on the day that he was shot, she knew that something was wrong the, the minute the street lights came on. She began to look for him by foot and by phone. We need everyone to turn in whatever they have because this has to be solved. We have to find closure for this family. Does anyone else have anything they'd like to say? My nephew, was the heart of our family. He, he called everybody. He kept in touch with everybody. So we're no longer gonna get phone calls. He's no longer gonna be able to check up on people because somebody took him from us. So we're asking anybody with any information, if you know who did it, if you, you heard something, whatever it is, if you can please contact Crime Stoppers, APD, um, and just help us get some closure. Thank you.